Hello everybody, my name is David. Today I want to show you my drumsticks that I use and explain why I use my drumsticks. With no further to do, let's get started. I want to begin with my Flix Rock Rods. So these produce a very nice attack on my cymbals and a very nice sound on my drums and they can be very quiet or they can be very very loud depending on how I control the dynamic of these rods so let's see how they sound like Very wonderful sound of the Flix Rock Rods. The next pair of sticks that I use are the Vicfirth SD12 Swizzle G. As the name implies, I have here two fat tips and also two round tips. With the fat tip side, I can sway my cymbals. Or I can play my drums and if I turn it 180 degree I can use the round uh, wood tip and produce a very brilliant sound on my right cymbal. So it is very multifunctional and I really appreciate the quality that uh, Vicfirth has put in these um, wonderful sticks and I really like them. The next pair of rods I play are the Vicfirth Steve Smith Tellerand Bamboo and these were some of my first rods that I used for playing my drums and they produce a very special sound because of the bamboo material and the form which you can see here inside and the sound is really special they can also be very soft but can also be extremely loud on the drums and cymbals. So let's check out how these ones sound like. Man, these can be loud. This is so great and a really nice sound on the cymbals and drums. So, if I want to have a very bright cymbal sound, I am gonna use the Gavin Harrison signature sticks because I really appreciate that they don't only have that wonderful blue grip um, surface but also the very special shoulder and tip which is great for very bright high-pitched right cymbal sounds and I can tell you these are very very bright These two pairs of sticks are my most favorite drumsticks of all time because 
they have the best feel, the best quality and they sound so amazing because they are called Peter Askin Ride Sticks and if I play one of these on these two cymbals you can hear that they appreciate the name completely because check that out Absolutely amazing sound on the cymbal and uh, great great sound even on the drums so this is how they sound like on my drums very nice and great sounding sticks so these are the Ross Miller Signature Sticks, also from Vic Firth. Uh, I just bought these because I just love the sound as I bought them because it was a very nice and bright sound and it still is a very interesting sound on the cymbal. <laughs> but also on the drums. I use them when I want to have a, a round sound of my drums from rock to metal to pop to jazz and they are fitting that all. Next stop I have here the minor hickory Timbala sticks. Cheap but great, great, great Timbala sticks because you know I had birthday last year and I I needed to search something for 25 euros I think and I just bought these Timbala sticks and I used them mainly for imitation the timbale when I want to play Latin because I have the possibilities because of the cowbell I have here and these do the job pretty 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 well. Next stop Vicfirth American Classic 5A. These are the one of my most favorite sticks I have ever played because the around quality of the sticks is just great. I really love these sticks together with my Peter Astkin Ride Sticks and the Flex products I have bought recently. These are one of the greatest sticks I have ever played in my life. And oh, they are pretty much used for um, around quality of drums playing, but they are not um, suited for metal because they don't have that sound that's needed for metal music. But for all other styles of music, these are pretty well for every kind of music except the metal and uh, this is how they sound like on the cymbals and drums next stop Vincent 7A so um, these are 
just um, good sticks but not that good quality at all but I still appreciate them when I want to um, use them they are pretty light in weight so they are very nice in uh, quality and produce a very nice sound on my cymbals and drums Next stop, I use the Meine Alexa Kölner World Classic Conquistado for imitating the timbale on my drum set. And these were the first uh, timbale sticks that I have bought and I still appreciate the quality, they are so nice so great and I really really love how they produce the sound and how I can use them but I would not recommend to use the red um, red coating on the drums because it can give the heads the color so this is not great at all but for imitating the timbala on the drum set they are great next stop Agner Faith A V these are very normal quality drumsticks but still very good in the quality and I use them a little bit less I use uh, like all of my sticks I use some of them very often and some of them not very often only when I want to but um, these are very nice and I really like these ones too These two pairs of sticks are my most favorite drumsticks of all time because they have the best feel, the best quality and they sound so amazing because they are called Peter Askin Ride Sticks and if I play one of these on these two symbols, you can hear that they appreciate the name completely because check that out. Absolutely amazing sound on the cymbal and uh, great great sound even on the drums so this is how they sound like on my drums very nice and great sounding sticks so these are the Ross Miller Signature Sticks, also from Vic Firth. Uh, I just bought these because I just love the sound as I bought them because it was a very nice and bright sound and it still is a very interesting sound on the cymbal. <laughs> but also on the drums. Mm -hmm. 
I use them when I want to have a, a round sound of my drums from rock to metal to pop to jazz and they are fitting that all. Next stop I have here the minor hickory timbala sticks. Cheap but great 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 timbala sticks because you know I had birthday last year and I I needed to search something for 25 euros I think and I just bought these timbala sticks and I used them mainly for imitation the timbala when I want to play Latin because I have the possibilities cause of the cowbell I have here and these do the job pretty 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 well. Next stop Vicfirth American Classic 5A. These are the one of my most favorite sticks I have ever played because the award quality of the sticks is just great. I really love these sticks together with my Peter Astgen Right Sticks and the Flix products I have bought recently. These are one of the greatest sticks I have ever played in my life. And oh, they are pretty much used for um, around quality of drums playing, but they are not um, suited for metal because they don't have that sound that's needed for metal music, but for all other styles of music, these are pretty well for every kind of music except the metal. And uh, this is how they sound like on the cymbals. And drums. Next stop, Vincent 7A. So um, these are just um, good sticks, but not that good quality at all. But I still appreciate them when I want to um, use them. They are pretty light in weight, so they are very nice in uh, quality and produce a very nice sound on my cymbals and drums. Next stop, I use the Meine Alex Akuna World Classic Conquistador for imitating the timbale on my drum set. And these were the first uh, timbale sticks that I have bought and I still appreciate the quality. They are so nice, so great and I really, really love how they produce the sound and how I can use them, but I would not recommend to use the red um, red coating on the drums because it can give the heads the color. So this is not great at all, but for imitating the timbala on the drum set, they are great. Next stop, Agner Faith A V. These are very normal quality drumsticks, but still very good in the quality. And I use them a little bit less. I use, uh, like all of my sticks, I use 
some of them very often and some of them not very often only when I want to but um, these are very nice and I really like these ones too. Next stop is the Wickfield American Classic 5A Barrel. This one produces a very nice quality of sound on my drums and cymbals but I have only one of two because the other one got broke and uh, I didn't have the time to buy a new one so I use only that one uh, but it's still very nice in quality. Next stop I have the Flix Classic brushes. Um, I think these are very nice brushes and very good for a very quiet type of music because they are made out of fiber and as you can see it here the fiber is very flexible and so it's also very light so that means they are only uh, usable for the very quiet type of music but I think I will love them when I have them more tested out. Next stop I have the Vicfirth Live Wires. These ones are great two nice very nice uh, brushes and they are for the medium to the louder settings of a sound but the cool thing about the flix fibers is that i can get very very loud with these ones because of the plastic um, material that is used for making the shaft and they can reach a very high amount of loudness but the live rays are more in the lower volume settings uh, but I still appreciate these ones. Next stop Flix Jazz Brushes. While these are very light the fibers are very flexible but this can be also very loud when I want to hit a rim shot with them cause the plastic material is pretty well made and therefore it's suited for that extreme loudness. And last but not least the Flix Classic Fiber Rods. These produce a very nice sound they have very nice quality. I really, really appreciate these ones and I love to play these together with the rock ones. Very nice quality indeed. So I really, really like it. So I hope you liked that video as I have done it. So thanks for watching and bye bye.